everyone welcome back to today's vlog another packing vlog and a moving vlog <laughs> today is february 1st i said second but i'm at first which means that it is officially moving month today is monday first so in exactly two weeks it is gonna be my birthday and exactly two weeks we will have already have spent the night at our first apartment because we are moving on valentine's day and i am so 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 excited but also freaking out we have so much stuff to do i've been having so many moving dreams and they are crazy like i had a dream that it was my last day of work at my current job and i just decided not to go in for some odd reason and then it was like 8 30 at night and i went into work like crying i was like please forgive me i'm so sorry i don't know why i had that dream and then i've had a few dreams where like nothing is hacked and the apartment is a mess and it's like three in the afternoon because we're planning to leave at, like 7 a.m on moving day and uh everything is just a disaster and we don't end up leaving on time so yeah i've been having these crazy crazy moving dreams and i've been getting kind of anxious there's just so much going on right now that like i'm i'm kind of finding it hard to keep it together to be honest so i'm trying to do my best i'm trying to figure out healthy coping mechanisms for dealing with the stress and you know i'm just ready to get this done because just the pressure of it is building up and building up and i'm just ready to be done but anyway i wanted to chat with you guys before we pack blake and i are going to be packing tonight pretty much everything we are literally as i said moving in less than two weeks so today we're planning on packing and then next weekend which is our last weekend we're planning on doing a deep clean of everything like scrubbing all the cabinets all of the bathroom stuff um cleaning the carpets the floors everything and then that way on moving weekend we literally are packing the u-haul on saturday sunday we plan to wake up super early get rid of all the rest of our stuff that we need you know like the bed which we're sleep we're gonna sleep on our last night and then you know do a quick little wipe of everything and a quick little sweep of any nala hair and then we're planning to hit the road so we're planning on getting the majority of packing done today besides stuff that we're gonna need for the next uh, last little bit of two weeks and um yeah so it should be fun i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog but i did want to say that i just edited my podcast for this week and it is with the incredible ali desantis on youtube who is a former face character for the disney parks she was friends with pocahontas esmeralda kida uh, jasmine she is incredible and she talks about so many other important things like her struggle with lyme disease um she lives in washington dc so she talks about the capital riots as well as the inauguration while she was living there so if you want to go check it out it's up on my podcast now you can find that in the description box down below also i am launching a website for my podcast so it is the mouseclubpodcast.com if you want to go check that out i am planning on doing a youtube channel for my podcast as well because i want to have closed captions and stuff but unfortunately i have not been able to figure out how to get my audio onto youtube so i'm still working on that anyway guys just a quick little update wanted to chat with you but anyway yeah i'm gonna get some computer work done and then let's get packing together all right guys i got all my computer work done i actually got more than i expected done so i'm really happy and now it's packing party time so i'm about to turn this computer it's the little like swizzle watch it's magic Ooh. so i'm gonna turn it to face us while we are packing in the kitchen and we are going to watch survivor blake is working on deep cleaning the bathroom right now and he also got new soda stream juices <laughs> syrups so we're gonna try those out he got the soda stream strawberry and watermelon one which smells really good and then target also sells bubbly flavors this is mango so we're trying those so anyway packing party time i'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse so enjoy us packing here's the pile currently it out. so you can see our progress today this box is open because it's just hangers so i'm gonna put more in there and then this one i'm gonna need blake to hold on to while i tape it down because it's full of mattresses and or not mattresses but comforters and the air mattress so it keeps popping open so i need to seal it again but here we go mm, how's that good. one taste actually that's the best one i want to try strawberry watermelon oh you put a lot that's, that's what the amount to put it reminds me of a candy I've had. Watermelon. Kool-Aid. Tastes like Kool-Aid. That's good. I personally would not put so much syrup. Well, I'll put less next time, dude. <laughs> but putting what it tells me. Blake likes it, so here we go. So 
I'm about to pack my bags and I want to show you guys these bags that I cannot wear to the parks. I have a few different ones. They're specifically perfect for Disney and so I've been saving them for my next trip and I can't wait to show you guys. They're just so fun and I also have like a list of ears that I really want to buy on Etsy and at the parks. So I just have a list of things that I cannot wait to wear to the parks in the future. So let me show you. So first up is this. It's a bag. Not the things. It's a toy. That's not for you. It's a um, pillow pet bag. And it's a purple unicorn. It's very tiny. Let me set you down so I can show you. It's very tiny. So like here is where it opens. And then this is literally it. It's just like this pocket here. But that's perfect for the parks because literally most of the time I just... Oh, you are really tilted. I'm sorry. Most of the time I usually just bring um, sanitizer, my wallet, and my phone, and a phone charger. <laughs> Pretty much all I bring. So this will be perfect size i'm so excited it's so cute i actually thrifted this for five dollars and i was gonna give it to our niece for christmas but i wanted to keep it so sorry jasmine i wanted it and i kept it so we got her other things for christmas instead then of course the grogu backpack which blake bought me for christmas and he has this little cup where you can put a drink but it does detach so if you don't want to use it this is a lounge fly bag for anyone interested and uh, 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 she's gonna try to get at that bag until i pack it um this is a lounge fly bag for anyone interested and lounge fly just makes the most beautiful disney bags and so this one just has a big pocket up front or sorry just in the back so that's perfect this one has a little more storage for like rainy days if i'm bringing like a little umbrella or colder days if i need to pack a little jacket i just like the diversity of these and then this one which my family actually got me a long time ago but i haven't used yet it is a poach little mickey like shoulder strap bag and these are my favorite type of bags i hate like purses so this is perfect and it's just tiny just like i said my wallet, my phone, phone charger, hand sanitizer. That's pretty much all I need. Oh my gosh, it is full of Nala hair. I've had it on our little thing where we keep like our jackets and bags for a while um, because I've been dying to wear it. I think that this is like perfect for Dapper Day because it's so simple, but so like Disney style. I can't wait to wear it. Thanks to my dad and stepmom for this one, but it's so cute. <laughs> I love it so, so much. And yeah, I just can't wait to wear these to the parks. I have so many things picked out that I can't wait to wear. Some clothing I haven't worn yet. Just just can't wait to miss the park so much. Eco-friendly moving hack. This is all stuff that we have from previous packages that we are reusing for the move. Also, if you're moving, you can use your clothes to pack protective layers for your dishes. We're gonna use these. <laughs> she's doing is we're packing. For anybody who's been following us for a while, you'll know that Nala has really bad separation anxiety. For the past few times that we've moved, she just is so anxious, always crying when she sees the boxes. And now she's being such a good girl. I don't know if it's come with like maturity, like now that she's three, she's a little more calm um, or she just has more trust with us. She knows we're not gonna leave her, but she's been so good. Usually too, when I leave the house, she like panics if she's not inside her crate, like even if I leave for like a split second. And today I have to run outside and give Blake some things because he was going somewhere else and I left her here for like two seconds and she was totally calm. So she's been a really good girl. I'm so proud of her and how far she's come from the last time that we've moved. We'll see if that continues up until moving day. I hope so. I hope moving day is very calm for Nala. Otherwise, we might have to knock her out with some Benadryl because I just don't want her to be panicking the whole day. That's just going to put her under so much stress, especially with us going in and out of the house with boxes and everything as we pack things up. I don't want to stress her out, so we shall see. Well, guys, be prepared to be shook because we got so much done today. Remember our before pile. Here is our new pile. Holy smokes. We did pretty much everything. Literally the only things we have left are just a few dishes that we're gonna be using the next couple of weeks. 
um, our food, which hopefully most of it will be eaten. And then that's pretty much it. We just have our clothes and some like little things that I need to put away. But yeah great progress we still have four boxes left and i'm in the middle of doing one in the kitchen so this one is still pretty empty in here so we are making great progress this has to come down that has to come down but i feel like we did so good this weekend so next weekend we'll pack up the rest we're gonna deep clean while i was packing in the kitchen blake was deepening the bathtub which was the part i was most worried about and i'm shook how clean it is it literally looks like a brand new bathtub that gray part down there is kind of like stained so what can you do oh my gosh i'm sorry that this isn't the video but um yeah it just looks amazing i can't wait to take a clean bath in here but we'll probably clean it one more time through uh before we go it just looks so nice and so fresh so yeah that's the plan next weekend is a deep clean since he already did the bathtub really all we have left to deep clean is like the microwave the oven the refrigerator and then the carpet in here yeah we're almost done we're doing good keeping ourselves on track <laughs> 